from what from what I see, it, it doesn't seem like it's the fairest law in New York. And we have obviously, obviously the Rockefeller drug law has been amended in some respect. Uh, and, you know, some laws just, you know, they, they don't stand the test of time. You think this law is going to be amended in such, some way or changed in some way? What do you think? I hope so. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of laws that tie the hands of judges. Judges need some amount of discretion. And this New York gun law just is really meant to take away the judge's discretion. Uh, mandatory minimum of three and a half years, and that gives all the power to the prosecutor to decide who's going to get the breaks and who are not going to get the breaks. Um, and any, you know, any, any, any final advice you're going to give to somebody who gets caught with a gun in their pocket or someplace else? Advice, what do you do if, if that's you who gets pulled over in a car and you find the gun? What do you do? Well, I mean, the, the, the advice is don't get into that situation. Don't carry illegal guns in New York. But uh, if you do, keep your mouth shut, don't talk to the police, and get yourself an attorney because these are very serious offenses. Okay, well, it looks like uh, the devoted staff at uh, Bronx Legal went out to ask Bronx Site about how they feel about firearm laws in New York. We asked you whether the following scenario is fair. If a gun is found in a car, the law presumes that the gun belongs to everyone sitting in the vehicle, as we just talked about. Let's hear what you had to say. I think it's not fair because it's not my weapon and I'm not the one who had it. It was somebody else who had it, not me. I don't think it's fair. Um, I don't think it's fair that a person should be accused of a felony, which is something that goes on your record for a long time. It can impact your job, what school you go to. And I think that before a felony charge is given to someone, that a, more information should be gathered, just not by merely that person being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, I just want to say I don't think that is fair, um, that someone should be um, charged just because they were affiliated with someone who has a gun because they may not have known that the gun was in the car. Um, and it just goes to, goes to the same for the same thing with um, for drugs. So I, I don't agree. I mean, it's not fair. Consequences are consequences, um, and affiliation is affiliation. If you knew that she was going to be in the same car as a person that had a gun, you know, and they get caught up, maybe you belong there. But then again, affiliation is affiliation. So if you know, then you know. So I don't think that the law is fair based on the fact that if you get into the vehicle with someone and you don't know that there is a gun in there, I don't think you should be held responsible. Someone maybe offers you a ride and you don't know that they have a weapon. You should not be held responsible for that. So on that basis, I don't think the law is fair. Well, if you're in somebody's vehicle and they have a weapon and they get stopped and the weapon is found, it's not your responsibility. I mean, you're, you know, you're, you can't be held responsible for other people's actions. Only yourself. That's the way I believe. No, I don't think it's correct to be charged with a criminal crime when you did not participate in it. Actually, that happened to me when I was very young. Friends of mine we were driving in a car. We borrowed his father's car. His father was a retired vet and had the had the gun in his car. And if I didn't have a good lawyer, I would get charged criminally, which would take my right to vote, which would have took away my two my master's degrees that I got and it would have destroyed my future. I don't think that law is fair because if I had no idea that the weapon was in that car and I'm just getting a ride because I'm tired or cold and I got pulled over, the car got pulled over and I have no idea what's in there. No, I don't think it's fair that I should be prosecuted or accused of anything that I have no knowledge of. They need to investigate it further and accuse the correct person that the gun belongs to. All right, here to continue our discussion on the current state of New York gun laws is attorney Peter Tillam, a senior partner at Tillam and Campbell. Peter, welcome back. You know, I agree with almost everybody there who was saying that it's not fair to be, to be accused of having the gun when you don't know anybody in the car who had the gun. And, and did you see the one, the one gentleman who basically said it could have ruined his life if he didn't have a good attorney to make sure that either they guess they played it down or he got it dismissed? I mean, what do you, what do you say to somebody like that? Look, it was unanimous. Uh, I don't think there's too many uh, discussions that are, that are unanimous. Uh, it's a tough, harsh law. And 
in combination with the, with the consequences, consequences which have gone up so dramatically, it's just draconian and uh, needs to get changed. Now, we, we were, you know, uh, before uh, we got on site, we were talking a little bit about um, loaded versus unloaded guns. Um, and whether there should be a different charge with respect to that. What's your thoughts on, on that? Well, you know, I'm glad you brought that up because just uh, because you think the gun is unloaded doesn't mean that New York law agrees with you. So you can carry a gun that is unloaded, uh, but if you have at the same time ammunition which is capable of being fired from that gun, that gun is considered loaded. It's unbelievable. It's, it, it's, it's, it's really not... You know, it's not fair. And, um, and an example of that is a guy who's carrying a gun in his trunk uh, and, the, and has the bullets separately. He's driving from Virginia to Rhode Island, and he gets caught by the police, gets stopped for routine traffic infraction, and gets caught by the police, and he's charged with possessing a loaded firearm. It's just it's not fair. You know, it, it's disturbing. Uh, but I want you to come back because we're going to talk about this again. Um, it's certainly a law that might be changed, like the Rockefeller drug laws, hopefully. Um, we have your information. We're going to put it up on the... Uh, uh, on the uh, program so we can uh, contact you and uh, hopefully people will be watching tonight and you've given them some good advice to make sure that they're not pulled over and charged with possessing a gun. All right? That concludes this edition of Bronx Legal. I'd like to thank all, I thank our guests for joining us and of course you for watching. Now if there is a legal topic or issue you would like to see discussed on Bronx Legal, email, show or segment ideas and remember, know the law, know your rights, know the options. See you next time.